YouTube, it's Frogrom18 and this is back on my Creative World, but today we're not doing hide or seek or anything like that. Today we are doing this. So basically guys, um, we have finished it now. I actually finished doing all the rest of the redstone that needed to be doing quite a bit ago. Like probably four or five days ago I think, uh, but... Basically after the last video I finished the redstone off the next day but I didn't film it but I'm here with Raving Rhino. Hello. Yes, so basically I'm just going to tour this um, and then you'll start seeing videos of the next build. So this is the full tour even if you've seen it or not. So this is a safe house around we've got a full moat of lava going all the way around and when and it is being everything here is generated generated by this one daylight dispenser uh, sensor when the lights are on it is working it is powered it's got power when the lights are off it's got no power left so at night you don't want people coming over so the bridge closes and lava goes over and then during the day, this bridge will come back on. You can get across. And before we go in the house, there's like this white pathway around the whole outside. Now there's a nice water thing there. But at night, yet again, the pool lights come on so you can see where you're swimming and stuff. Then in day, right, they go on because... And the edges... <coughs> Cameron? Yeah? The edges. We've only done the top. And anyway, so, when you go across this bridge as well, guys, in the day, the door's open. But at night, save your opening and shutting, it closes. Like the pathway closes. But in the day, it'll open back up so you can come inside. Inside, you've just got this place with nice paintings, seating arrangement here for a little chat. And the sitting arrangement here to watch TV. Lights that are always on. And then here you've got your kitchen there. You can enter it both ways. If you're more going to the kitchen, you probably enter it there. If you're coming from this way, you could enter it here. But here we've got a nice fountain water design to look into the pool to make it look really nice. We've got like these lights that always stay on. So basically, if you come here during the day, you want to grab something from the kitchen, you can. You can just sit like here, here or here if it's just you. But then at night, when you're having a big feast, the lights on the table come on. Make it really cool. Also could be used as a catwalk. Dun, dun, dun. You're welcome. And then during the day again, during the day again, the lights turn off, which I think we should leave um, the, like that. The oven is there, and the oven's a really cool feature. It just looks nice. Um, this is a fridge that you just push, and it'll dispense it out. These are taps where I've used iron frames, diamond blocks, thingies, and trip wires, and cauldrons. And here we've just got like a storage area and crafting stuff. But at night, you want these back doors to close as well. So when it turns night, back door shut. And then during the day, back doors open. But a better feature on this that I dis that I made was when the door shut, lock shut in front of the door and railings in front of that. So when it turns night, door shut and the block and railings come on. In the day, railings, blocks and doors open. So it's a really cool feature that guys um, and that is basically the house and it is all powered by daylight sensors all the red zones powered by daylight sensors apart from the lights that automatically stay on but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that and see you in the next build so goodbye